I booted, sorry. I thought I was going to die. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you're going to live to enjoy all the glorious fruits of life has to offer. Acne, shaving, premature ejaculation, and your first divorce. <laughs> What is up? Did you start <laughs> All right. I ain't going to start anymore. I'm, not gonna do it. We're, we're, I'm canceling the podcast. I'm canceling this whole thing. Fuck it. Shutting down the studio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just, just sit there and talk while I'm trying to talk. Watch Clueless 50 times. You just sit there, Ness. I got some good news and some bad news. I'm shutting the studio down. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Macho Movie Madness. Oh, yeah. I'm your host, Brandon. Alongside me always is Andrew and Chris. Hey, hey. Hello. And uh, today is part two of our Arnold Essentials podcast. Arnold Schwarzenegger's greatest movies ever, uh, by our opinions, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but, but uh, I mean, if you're if they're not your opinions, too, then you're wrong. Um, we're going to start off uh, moving into the 90s now. Um, we promised last week that this was going to be a little bit more structured and on task. Wrong. I mean, it's going to be a little bit more. It's going to be a little bit more. You hope. I hope. <laughs> um, no weird movie outbursts. Oh, it's going to happen. No more. No can't, detours. I can't wait. Down. I can't wait. I hope, yeah. <clears throat> the detours will be, if there are detours, we promise they, they won't disappoint. I'm sure they'll be. <laughs> the, that's the, Everybody's going to start tuning into the, to see what we just mysteriously bring up yeah. instead of instead of the I actual like that'd topic. that'd be fun. Yeah, instead of topic. We're going to do a Pee Wee Herman thing where we have a secret <laughs> a secret movie and everybody's, ah! And, that'd be cool. Yeah, I mean, that'd be, that'd be neat, I guess. Um, we're going to start off with a movie. And the reason why I picked this movie is because Andrew laid down a little bit of uh, a little bit of his opinion earlier, and uh, I find it interesting. He he has he said that uh, he likes Total Recall better than T two, and That's I just great. I would like to I just like to hear this out, and I'd like for him to explain this preposterous whatever this is. <laughs> So Andrew, take it away. Let's start us off with Total Recall. Let's start us off with your opinion. Start us off with the movie. Okay. Well, Total Recall is a total thinking man's action movie. Mm -hmm. you've, you've got the whole premise of, you know, did he go to Recall? Did he get this implant in his mind? And was he lobotomized at the end because he couldn't come out of the thing, or was the whole thing just a dream? Yeah. You know, and and that's that was my selling point on that. And I'm biased. I like Terminator <clears throat> One, you know. Oh, and, sure, sure. And yeah. as I said off, off uh, camera, Terminator Two has some pacing issues, in my opinion. But uh, this came out, I think, just before T Two. I absolutely yes. love it. I think uh, as far it, there's some corny things in it, mm -hmm. but yes. as far as as uh, supporting characters and the things he goes through, the things they plant in this movie that pay off. In other stages of the movie, yeah, just great writing. Yep, I agree. But I do. That's that's my opinion yeah. on Total Recall. Yeah. I I <clears throat> totally agree with you on T two. Um, I would put T two over this, right? But I agree with everything you just said, and I just you know would swap would flip them. it. Yep. Would but I total. But I totally agree. Flippity with you. floppy. Yeah, it is. Uh, <clears throat> Total Recall at this time was, and I know I said this about another movie in the last one, but it was totally uh, new. Yeah, like it was, it was a, a authentic idea. Right. It wasn't a rehashed, you know, thing. Which, and you know, uh, yeah. especially at this time, movies were starting to get dumber. Dumber, like they were dumbing, they were dumbing stuff down for us at this time, and uh, 
and Total Recall took a chance and, you know, this, made everybody think. This is the second Philip K. Dick ad- adaptation of one of his works into a no- into a movie. And he's big on what is real and what's not. Yeah. And that, that's where the whole implant thing comes from and, and the agency and everything. Trying to trying to take over someone's, you know, mind or soul or whatever. Yeah. But, totally screws with me. <laughs> so what do y'all think as far as do you think it was actually his recall ego trip or you think it was all a dream? I don't know. I, um, I, uh. It it makes you wonder because a lot of signs are there that it's a dream because yeah. everything was like the like even the girly he, he envisioned the brunette or whatever they, it just seems like it it's very possible that it was just all a, a dream uh, when he's in the machine the guy's like oh blue sky on Mars <laughs> yeah exactly so I just I feel like I feel like all the pieces are there but I mean it, it's one of those movies um, that like like some of the Scorsese, uh, Scorsese films we talked about a couple weeks ago where you know the, this is. Uh, this is something you would kind of interpret yourself, something like mm-hmm. Shutter Island. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I kind of I don't know, I don't know. I being lobotomized at the end would have been interesting because uh, you know to your you, to your theory that's the white, yeah, you know, fades, it, it to fades, white. fades to white, and that I mean that that's that could be either one. It really could. Yeah. This is one of those things where I I feel like I feel like Shutter Island was a little bit more clear cut in my opinion how I how I visioned I mean how I you know viewed the movie. Uh, but this one here, it's a little bit, I don't know. It's a little bit harder to say. I feel like it's a little bit the other way. Like it was a dream. Yeah. <clears throat> I think, I mean, you know, it's, but it could be either way. It could <clears throat> be, it could be either one, but I think it was a dream. And I think the fading to white is him waking up. That, that could be too. Yeah. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. I, yeah. I don't think there's not. That's no. the, that's the best part about it. Yeah. yeah. That's the best part about it. Yeah. There's no right or wrong. Yeah. It's whatever it's, you want it to be. It's kind of a. It's it, a, a mm. lot of people can't deal with that. I agree. I agree. There's a lot of people who just can't handle. They want something clear cut. But in a way, it it does kind of save the save the movie. Yeah. Like it saves your ending. The ending. It saves the opinion of. Uh, uh, it makes it kind of <clears throat> this. I mean, I know it's gonna. You're gonna lose some people because it doesn't have a clear cut answer. But I feel like if people can somehow find a way to to get out out of like get something out of it yeah. like get a good ending that yeah. they want out of it and then they can envision that i think they would appreciate it more does well, that make sense yeah i think and it, and it keeps people talking about it too. it keeps people talking about it but it but, but but there's no way you can piss people off unless they're just you know really determined to have a clear-cut answer yeah it doesn't piss everybody off because they've all got their own way they view it yeah so i mean it so it kind of works both ways i don't know yeah i, I like that i just i love the idea that that a movie can still, we can still be discussing the ending to this, to a movie Mm -hmm. that, uh, there's that we don't know really what the right answer is. And I would rather, by the way, I'd rather have this where we're, we're talking about theories where we're talking about how it could end because there's, you know, at least a couple different ways this could go and, and have an end. As opposed to a movie that just kind of cuts off, yeah, you know, like tells us, yeah, that like that's one thing that um, that's one thing that, and I'm just gonna, I want to get off subject just for a second here, um, as a comparison, three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Um, I don't know if you guys watched it yet, mm-hmm. but but uh, I finally watched it, and I have to say that it's a very, very, very good movie. Uh, the dialogue is superb. Uh, the story is really great. Um, and I'm not going to give away anything, but I mean, I will say that other than the ending is a little weak. Really? Yeah. To me, the ending was weak, uh, just because it's very open ended and not in a sense of, of there's, there's going to be a sequel or it could be a sequel. I don't, yeah. I don't, I doubt there would be. I know. doubt it. Cause it's, it's not based of, on a real movie. Yeah. And it's not, and it's not movie. one of those kind of movies. It's just, um, it's just, there's nothing big or happens. There's no conclusion. So, and it, and the, the cool thing about it is it's. I guess you can make the argument that it's good because it's real. Yeah. Because sometimes you just don't get answers in life. And and another thing too is it is things happen in the movie that you don't expect. Yeah. Like it's literally it literally changes somewhere along the lines of like the end of the movie or middle of the movie and you're like, What the fuck? 
Yeah. And then that's, you know, so it's definitely not your typical movie. And I think that's what attracts people to it as well. But, but that's, I would much rather have an ending like total recall where I could at least pick my ending, yeah. <laughs> you know, to, so to speak, than to yeah. just not have an ending at all or to have a clear cut shitty ending yep. because yeah. they got lazy. Like we see in horror movies, yeah. you know, where you, where you often, more often than not get really shitty endings. Yeah. yeah. Well, and uh, <clears throat> it doesn't come along very often that, uh, when did this come out? 90? 1990, yeah. Okay, so we were two years old. Me and Brandon were both two years old when this movie came out. Yeah. Um, and when I was two, I thought he was, he was, it was a dream. Movies don't come out very often where 28 years later, you, you can sit around and, debate over the ending of it right yeah Yeah. that doesn't happen you know it does every now and then you know blade runner um inception's gonna be one of them inception you know 28 30 years from now people are still gonna be talking about the shutter island i guess shutter island probably nothing Um, too big there but yeah i mean there's very very few movies that 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 can you can say that about there's some movies out there. this was one of the the first movies to do that. Yeah. This movie almost got made like five years earlier than what it did. Um, yeah. Dino De Laurentiis, who did Conan, the barbarian and destroyer, uh, had, had optioned it and Patrick Swayze was going to be in the lead. Oh, wow. Uh, and I don't know what happened. They talked about it in the commentary, but it fell apart. Could have had a roadhouse. Could have had. Yeah. Space roadhouse. <laughs> Man, I love I love Arnold, and I know we're talking about all Arnold things, but I'm kind of turned on hey, by the idea listen, of, a, just wanna, of just, a Mars Roadhouse. I just want to I just want to give a quick shout out to Roadhouse <laughs> as being a uh, if you're listening out there, you're one of my favorite movies of all time. And Dalton, I love you. Dalton could have yeah. came in and cleaned up Venusville. I, I guarantee. Oh, I guarantee. <laughs> I guarantee you, Dalton would have cleaned it up. Woman double with, woman with three breasts, get yeah, out of here. Yeah, that's right. The double deuce on <laughs> yeah, du- the double double Mars. That's right. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, he would. You're too have. stupid to have a good time, and he just and he squeezes yep. all three titties. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He he he, he, purp, he purple nurple these two, and then he bite a hold of that middle one, and he just fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and he does that hair flip. Yeah, and it yanks. I that, guarantee it. Yeah, yanks that nipple right out. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell did we just get into? Uh, great villain. In- <laughs> yeah, whoa, I, I ain't responsible. Wash my hands that, of that. that. Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> I was going to say, out. We got a badass great here. villain in this one. Uh, Dick Jones from Robocop. Yes, yes. Amazing, shutting off people's air. And yeah. What an asshole. Letting them <laughs> suffocate. What an asshole. Sharon Stone's, well, a, Sharon Stone's a super bitch in this one. Man, air ain't there. cheap. No, no I got ass. five kids. It ain't cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I got five kids. Yeah, I got I got kids. Here, let's talk about your kids. <laughs> so, for real, is, is he your favorite character? Benny? Yeah, Benny. I don't know. He's up there for me. Uh, I don't know about characters. I like the I like the outfit Arnold's wearing where he's the fat lady. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like, malfunctions. And he's like, how long are you going to stay? And no, it can only say two weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I like uh, Michael Ironside, uh, too, the the henchman. He mm-hmm. may be my favorite. He's always Dude, good Dude, Ironside's in everything. awesome in everything. What a great voice too. Yeah. Great voice actor. Um I still think one of my favorite parts of the entire movie is when he shoots Sharon Stone and it's considered his divorce. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite one liners. I thought he was gonna say the three titty lady. The three titty lady is pretty good too. I mean titty. <laughs> three there's one there's a whole titty. Yeah. Separate from these two titties, there's one <laughs> yeah, right yeah. here. I mean that's I, I want you, I want you just to clarify that for the people not watching, that's one <laughs> It's two, and it's three. There's three. It's not four. Not, it's not four. Two. Not two. It's a three. Yeah, titty. I want you to. I want you to raise your index finger, and then I want you to raise your middle finger all at the same time, and then your third finger. That's how many titties. Yeah. That's, yeah. Wild. that's wild. That's wild. That's out. That's out of this world. As I that's, said, that's that's Mars. That's th- double deuce Mars kind of shit right there. Thinking man's action movie. That's I need, right. I need. <laughs> we need Dalton stat. Yeah. Post haste. No, I, I do love that line though. With, yeah, I do like that. Consider this a divorce. Consider yeah. this a divorce. Yes. Oh, he doesn't have that many one-liners. No, in this. no, not like he usually does. No. Well, I lo- I love the excessive one-liners used in one of the movies we're going to talk about here in just a little bit. So I, I don't know. Um, 
I don't know, you guys. What? What? You guys got anything you didn't like about uh, Total um, Recall? It's kind of dated. Yeah, it, it is kind of dated. It doesn't you know. hold up as well. Uh-uh. And they really tried with that remake, and it just didn't. Yeah. They tried to do their own thing, which you have to kind of admire, appreciate. But I guess. it didn't. It didn't. You know. You know. I ask a serious question. Why does Colin Farrell have to be in every remake? I don't ever? know. He's not that good. Fright Night. Total Recall. I don't know. And you know, his, the Fright Night with him wasn't that bad. No, I mean it they're wasn't. not. They're not terrible. They're just like, why, but why? Yeah. They didn't have to exist. Yeah. Well, and and why did they choose like, them? The not ones, that I hate them. Okay, but... the the remakes that they put him in could be amazing. Yeah, if they would use someone else. Yeah, he was he was good and he was good in Friday. I mean, I'll give him that. I think he would be good in like a Tarantino film as like a side character. Yeah. I don't yeah. think he's a leading man. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You need to watch in Bruges. Changing my mind. In Bruges, yep. In Bruges. In Bruges. I've never seen that one. You need to watch it. Um, how do you feel about Kindergarten Cop? Eh. Eh? I'm pretty indifferent. Indifferent? Yep. I, I think it's... I'm all I, about it. I, I like it. I like it. It's mm-hmm. not... Uh, don't be a potty pooper. Yeah, it, I mean, I'm. Yeah, you'll be a yeah. potty pooper. I I like it, but it's not like one of my favorites. I I mean, I really enjoyed this movie. I I watched it. It's probably. a it's a lot of fun. I probably watch it once or so every I, I, once a year, maybe once every two years, something yeah. like that. I probably watch it. Definitely, definitely up there, but not like top five. It's not top five. It's top ten, not top five. Yeah, yeah, it might be in my top ten. It's probably top ten Arnold, but not top five Arnold. Um, I got a challenge for you. Mm. <clears throat> Late on. Try to watch the second Kindergarten Cop. If you can make it all the way through. Do we get like a badge of honor or something? You get a badge of honor. I will personally high five you. Maybe we need to do a commentary on Kindergarten Cop 2. Oh boy. No. <laughs> no. I don't even care. I don't, know if, I don't think you can get all the way through it. Replicator? Yeah. I would much rather do Replicator. <laughs> well, that's just because I got more. I got more stuff to say about Replicator. <laughs> that's because we got more more stuff to badge. More, and bash. there's boobies. Well, that's true. That's true. There's no three titty bitches in this one, is there? No, but I could. I, I mean, we we got Photoshop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We can just get that thumbnail right up there. <laughs> I'm sure YouTube will love that. Yeah. You know what? Screw YouTube. <laughs> Screw them. Yeah. They don't love us. Nope. They don't care about you. Nope. They don't care about nobody. Nope. Um. Well, I mean, if anybody... Casey Nice that. Ew. Yeah. I think it's poor man's David Patrick Kelly. Yeah, they're they're uh they're hiding YouTube headquarters up his fucking big ass nose. Oh, I guarantee it. Anyway, before I get I think off the bridge, on a, the bridge of his nose is getting wider by the day. It I is. Think. It is on something we promised we wouldn't get off. Yeah, on. before I get off on Casey Neistat, this is I, irrelevant. <laughs> you, you see, you anytime you get a chance to bash Casey Neistat, you should take. it. I don't think Andrew knows even knows who this guy is. No, and it sounds like I'm better off. And uh, yeah, you are better off, he dude. Is, I'll show you a picture of me. He looks just like an uglier version of David. Patrick he is Kelly. like okay. He super Casey uglier. Neistat and is like if David Patrick Kelly. Fucked a a retarded Chihuahua, <laughs> and they had a child. And then they put, and they thought it was cute to put glasses on him. Yep. Yeah. And, yep. Give, and give him a stupid and haircut. give him stupid fucking hipster clothes to wear. Yeah. And like super tight fucking and stick him in New York City. Oh my god. Yeah. He, he mm. Chihuahua come out and play. Like like yeah. uh, like you've got like you've got British people for Chris right here, oh, yeah. and then you've got like Casey Neistat, which is like hovering back and forth. Oh no, he's higher. He's, he's, higher. he's, he's much higher. higher. He's oh. much higher. Oh man, he's much higher. I've I've actually I've met British people that I like. I've I'll never, never meet a Casey Neistat that I like. Casey Neistat that I like. He is such a pretentious he piece is. of shit. He is. He's so we gotta a... say we gotta we gotta help these people. We gotta help those people. He he is like the he's like a. Uh, wasn't he on CNN for a while? Didn't he have some kind of affiliate with bit, them? A little like, bit, yeah. Christ. He's like a he. He's like YouTube's version of Bono. We yes. gotta we gotta help everybody. I mean, I got millions of dollars, and I'm not gonna do it myself. But you guys need to help yeah. people. Go vote. Go do this. Like he makes people still so follow him. People follow him. Yeah. Well, because they're stupid anyway, and they anyway. don't want to think for themselves. Speaking yeah. of which, what did you guys uh, <laughs> think about uh, Kindergarten Cop? <laughs> <laughs> So how about that clueless? <laughs> ah, yes, yes, exactly, exactly. 
How about Rob? How about uh, Paul Rudd in that movie? Right? Dude, Paul Rudd's good in everything. I know he is. I don't, I don't care. I who can't wait are. for Ant Man. By the way, I can't. Um, does anybody got anything else to say about Kindergarten Cop? I mean, I, I think Kindergarten Cop's all, a, a good little comedy that's got just enough like subplot with the kid. It does. You have you everything. have the you have the love story and you have the comedy and you have the action and you have the suspense and you know it, it's a really good yeah. overall movie for yeah. everybody. Every, it's not necessarily for the. Fa- I mean, it's a good for the family, I guess too. If you know, it's not real small yeah, ones, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't hesitate showing it to my kids. Yeah, exactly. I, you know, I, it's it's not my favorite Arnold movie by no means. Yeah. Um, but it's a solid movie. But it is a solid movie, and I quote it just as much as I do any other Arnold movie. Any of the things where he's in the school? Yeah. The kids and him yeah. say back and forth? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, just, that's the classic dynamic because you have Arnold who is already just so yep. great in every role he can be in, and then you stick him in there with crazy kids that'll say anything. There yep. is no bathroom. I love that. Um, you have when he yelled at them and they all started crying. <laughs> um, well, I, you know what? I feel like we can we could talk more about the these other two movies because this is just really the meat and potatoes of the whole thing. Like, this is it. And uh, I feel like we should do... What do you want to do first? What do you want to do first? You know which two I'm talking about. So yeah. One? We'll save your favorite one for last. Do you know which my favorite one is? Yeah, I know which one your favorite one okay. is. Okay. I'll let you go ahead and tell me then. <laughs> well, then, if that's the case, we'll be discussing. Actually, no, I'll give you, I'll, I'll tell you, my favorite's True Lies. Yeah, we'll be discussing <clears throat> Last Action Hero next. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs> because it really depends on my mood, on like how, where this is at. I think True Lies is the better film. But then, then there's some oh, day, hands there's down. just some days, man, where Last Action Hero is just so fun. It's Last so Action fun Hero, that yeah. it's just like right there for me because it's so fun, man. I fucking love it. God, if and, and no one's, see, I don't know how many people have seen it this day and age, but you need to go watch it. If, oh, if you I'd just say like most people have. You like I don't know, man. I don't know at this point in time. Yeah, I you'd just be don't know. surprised. I maybe I just I hope so because it's one of the like if you like. The uh, making fun of itself, yes. self-aware, like breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean they really heightened everything up and made fun of themselves on this. And it was just one of my favorite movies ever, just yeah. because it's so fun. And I still make fun. I mean, it's not really make fun of you. It's it's having fun with it and laughing at all the the parts that. Oh, it's just great. <clears throat> like literally, there's there's multiple good scenes throughout the entire movie that I that I never it never gets old to me. I showed this to my son like three years ago when he was like 10 mm-hmm. and he just absolutely adored it. Yeah. Yeah. The entire thing. Well, it's just fun. First of all, you got a kid sidekick, Yeah, you know, who's, who's, who's breaking the fourth wall or he's self where he's, he's a super movie buff. And, <clears throat> and so that's relatable to kids. Yeah. You know, that's a young thing, kid thing. But then you've got something for everybody. There's just love. It's just crazy. Uh, and Benedict, by the way, the bad guy. Yes. Charles is, Dance. Charles Dance is one of the best bad guys. Yeah. Or one of the best actors. I love his trademark. He's like a Bond villain. Yeah, he's yeah. like a Bond villain. He's yeah. got the glass eye and he has different kinds of glass eyes, and I absolutely love that. Uh, but, but and everybody has great lines. Oh yeah, and great moments in this movie. Yep. I love. I know it, it might sound goofy, but I love Arnold's gun. Oh yeah, the Desert Eagle. Like that was that was the first movie I remember <clears throat> ever seeing the Deagle. A desert. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, and it made a very big impression on me. Oh, me too, me too. And it's so crazy because we've actually fired a Desert Eagle. Oh, yeah. excuse me, uh, a Desert Eagle in in real life. And it's funny in his hands in the movies. Anyway, it looks it's big. It's a big gun. It's a big pretty gun. Oh yeah, and it's it, it's a big pretty gun in real life. But you don't realize how big and how heavy that thing is until you hold it in your hand and you operate it. Yeah. I mean that is it is insane. Yeah, that's like um You better work Terminator out. Genesis. Yes. Thank you. She uses a deagle in in that one handed two words. Totally, totally possible, totally possible for a, a for a full grown man. Two words, fake news. Exactly. <laughs> It, I mean, it. They are a deagle is very easy to fire for a full grown man. Mm-hmm. If you have large hands, they're very easy to use. Uh, one handed. Yeah. Um, her? No way. No. No, no. fucking way. A, a more stout girl, yes. Yes. But not her. A bigger, a bigger gal. Yeah. Yeah. 
I absolutely probably. one two hands maybe. You have Her? to have you have. No to, I mean, like I remember the first time I picked up our buddies because, and this was years ago, and this is before like even I was lifting, and you know I'd stopped lifting for a couple of years or whatever, and I've stopped lifting again. But, but I mean, I mean, it was a struggle for me to just lift it up one hand the very first time. Like, oh my, you realize real quick how weak you are, how what the lack of muscles you use in this arm, not doing hard labor or something like that's. You realize real quick how heavy that son of a bitch is, and your wrists and everything. Like now, it's no problem for me, but I mean. Yeah, back then that was rough, and then it was, and when it's brand new, the action on it, you know, it, oh my, stiff. oh my god, it was hard to, yep. to, it was hard to rack, you know, a bullet in the chamber. It was yep. just terrible. It kind of anything. The, shoot, firing was, one though, it really adds to releasing the slide lock was impossible for yeah. me without two without two thumbs. It was stupid, even for me. Yeah, it, but it really adds to the. Uh, I mean, it's a fifty action express. It's the, a huge caliber bullet. The really. Uh, the love of his character whenever you are familiar with the firearm that he uses throughout the whole film. Yes. Yeah. And I know a lot of people probably don't understand that, but it's like if you drive a bullet Mustang and you watch bullet, you're going to get that feeling every time you get behind the wheel, you're going to get the feeling that you're, you are doing that chase. You are in that chase, you know, It's just, it's that, that's just the way it is. It's, mm-hmm. it's, you can't explain it until somebody experiences it for themselves. Yeah. But. Isn't, and, uh, isn't this the movie where they throw dynamite in the car and he uses it to light his stogie yes. with? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He likes yeah. his, yeah, he likes it. And then, uh, the one scene he, um, he, uh, hears Danny and then, and he's like, this is not happening. And he reaches back there and he just flicks the dynamite with his thumb, the, the stick and the, you know, and then the wick on it and just puts it out. <laughs> that's pretty awesome I love the one liners in this movie the, yeah. the best one liners in an action movie I mean it's supposed to be it's yeah. supposed to have them yeah but him shooting non-stop I love when he was shooting in that that first opening car chase when Danny first drops in is, is awesome yeah. ACDC playing and everything yeah. it's so cool and he's shooting and that guy's the guy's running to the ice cream truck and then the guy and it blows up and then the guy's behind in front of them that made the that made the turn one of the ice cream cones went in the back of the dude's head and paled him. Then he went down. He's like, ice that guy. That's just <laughs> stupid. I love Sign it. Sign of things <clears throat> to come. Yeah. I think was, that's, <clears throat> I think that's my favorite part of the whole entire Tacona, movie. He is, says, ice that guy to Kona phrase. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. My, my very favorite part of this movie is the, the beginning part where he drops into the car with him. Yeah. And they're doing the, the car chase. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint it's, you. It's wild. But you, but you're going to, uh, you're going to go through life with all the, I don't I don't even remember how he said it, but he was talking about like acne and then premature ejaculation and all. And, and he's trying to be like, he's being funny and, and all in the background, the guys are like going over the bridge <laughs> they right in the air and then come down and blow yeah. up. <clears throat> Just awesome. Um, and the plot- I will, I will say if you love this movie, um, one that I'm sure a lot of people haven't watched that I would recommend is uh, Sidekick. Oh yeah, with yeah. Chuck Norris. Sidekick. It's it's pretty close to the same thing. Sidekicks with Jonathan Brandis and Chuck yes. Norris. Yes. Yeah, he, this kid's got Both. an overactive imagination, and yep. he's struggling in school with friends and stuff. He yep. takes up martial arts, and he's having he's got some health problems. He's got like asthma. And yeah, stuff. some kind yeah. of health problems or something. Yeah. yeah, he's getting bullied a lot. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I mean, it's what happens when you hallucinate, yeah. and you're Chuck Norris' sidekick. Yep. You know, this is what she was. Chuck, was Chuck Norris himself in that? He played a he played an action star. Or he's something, wasn't he? I can't remember. Um, it's been so he, long since I've seen he, it. He was just the the kid would uh, kept like he would fall asleep during uh, Chuck Norris movies. It, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when he would like he would fall asleep, and then he, him and Chuck Norris would be in the some movie kind of together. action yeah. Sequ- yeah, yeah. sequence. Like they then. would fight ninjas, and then the next time they would have. Uh, like a Vietnam scene. I think I've talked about this before, but that movie is like out of print now, so it's like four, it's like thirty or forty dollars. Really? Like yeah, you can't. Man, find I it. love that movie. Yeah, too. I know you can't find it. You like, know, it's one of those things. Have that you seen? Have you seen it? <clears throat> I've not. Seen it's it. one of those things that didn't age super well, so like you would probably like it just out of the fact that you liked oh it probably when you were a kid probably, but it's not probably good now because no, it's I'd been a long not. time since I've seen. It. I'd say not. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, that's it's like it's a it's a lot of money. It's yeah. like it's like. I don't know, and I don't even. Well, I'm pretty sure you can get it on DVD, maybe in another region, but yeah, I don't know. Even the VHSs are out of this world. 
Well, I'll spoil it for you since you're not going to be able to see it anyway. At the end, he joined, He uh, signs up for a karate competition, even though he's a nerd that uh, has nerd. asthma. Yeah. Uh, and Chuck Norris is actually the guest guest uh, judge, mm-hmm. and they do a uh, a doubles karate match, mm-hmm. and he doesn't have a partner, and uh, so. Like classic Karate Kid scenario, the the bully and his sensei, which is the big bully, you know. Yeah, yeah, they uh, take the sweep the leg. Guy. The, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna go up against this kid all by themselves. Chuck Norris steps in. Yeah. To be and his, they crap themselves. To be his sidekick. Yeah. yeah. And he Walker it's, Texas Rangers. Yeah, he, he Walker Texas Rangers him right in the effing face. Yeah, the kid, the kid too, because that would right be in the back of the face. <laughs> no, no, actually, the guy acts all tough, like he's gonna, like he's gonna whoop Chuck Norris's ass. Like, ah, I don't think you know who you are. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah. Anyway, 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 that was my little side rant. I had to dig in. Yeah, just dig on in. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, it's similar. Cause yeah, it, it, I, that's what I was thinking. You know, a lot of people haven't. I'd say a lot of people have seen Last Action Hero. Mm-hmm. And I'd say most people that have seen it love it. Well, how can you not? And I just figured I'd throw that, you know, sidekicks. I think I don't actually don't think this plot's that bad for. I don't think it is either. It's pretty. It's a pretty fun wild movie, but it's got a pretty decent. Yeah. Basic. It's basic, but it's a pretty decent plot. Yeah. I like like the scene where uh, he takes him to the police station and he's like, "You got a cartoon fox running around." Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, you got a cartoon. Was it was a cat or fox? Maybe it might. I don't know. It's like a cartoon cat, I think. But anyway, he's like, "Yeah, you got a cartoon cat." I mean, come on. (laughs) And he looks and he looks over. He's like, "And he's the best. And he's the best cop we got. He's a good cop." (laughs) Like, he just doesn't think any of it's weird at all. You know, no, it doesn't see and uh, I love him hitting on that girl in the video store though, because the video store. It's you know he sees the cut out the cardboard cutout or whatever of of Terminator Two Judgment yeah. Day and it, it's and it's Sylvester Stallone yeah. who's the Terminator and he's like this is you and he's like oh, I thought he is a great he did a great job yeah and uh, he's like you were in that movie and then this really really hot girl comes up he's like you were in a movie he's like yes I was in a movie <laughs> and you were in it too it's called the girl of my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> And he, so he ends up getting the number, getting her number. And he's like, and they walked out of the video store. He's like, do you notice? Like, like this is how he's like, how do you prove this in a movie? He's like, I'll prove it to you. No one in this movie is bad looking. Like everyone is super good looking in this movie. That's how you know it's a movie. Yeah. And I also love the scene where they pull up and, uh, they, they were driving around trying to find the big bad house. And he's like, um, uh, there it is right there. And he's like, and he's just acts dumbfounded, and, and he and he's all pissed. He's like, "Oh, you don't understand. You just solved the case. All these all these years of going through the training and proper courses and everything, and all I had to do was drive around the block and point at my finger at a house and say the bad guys were in there." <laughs> Does he say something about? Uh, I like to talk to the drug dealer of the house. Yeah, something? yeah. He walks up. And he's like, uh, "I'd like to speak to the drug dealer of the house, please." And he's like, "What?" And he's like. It's a beautiful day, and we're out killing drug dealers. Can I speak to the one in the house, please? <laughs> it's a crime. This they don't have like a special edition of of this DVD. It's just like a bare bones. It's a bare bones. I know. I hope they come out with one eventually because yeah. I fucking love this movie. I in the in the first scene with him and Benedict at the door right after yeah. that was awesome too. And he's like, he snaps his fingers and the dogs form a triangle. And he's like, I snap my faces again. And tomorrow morning you'll emerge from various, uh, uh, rectile, but whatever. Anyway. Uh, and he's like, he's like, do you comprende? Or he said, uh, any questions? And he's like, yeah, I've got two. He's like, why do I, uh, why do I, uh, waste my time with punks like you when I could be doing something more dangerous, like rearranging my sock drawer? <laughs> yeah. And he's like, and two, how are you going to snap your fingers after I rip off both of your thumbs? <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, 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 there's so many good lines in this movie. This yeah. is badass. Oh, it's one of my favorite movies ever. I, people have to watch it. It's fucking yeah. awesome. John McTiernan film, Predator, Die Hard, this. Yep. Yes. 13th Warrior. Yep. Yeah, this is this is a super, like, this is, if you love nostalgia, you love super action, super 80s, super cheesy one-liners, and you haven't seen this movie, then you ain't living. No, like you have to see this movie. That's why it is. It is top three for me, Arnold. Wow, just because it's wow. so fun, man. Yeah, it's so fun. I well, no. 
I'll, I'll, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take a step back. I'll say it's four. It's top four. It's got. It, it just, it just barely misses three. Wow. That's saying something. Yeah. No. Hold on. <laughs> no, let me think. It's going down the list. Let me list. think. Yeah. Let me think. Hold on. I was about to say, uh, Arnold's got a lot of good movies. Big good movies. No, it is number three. It's number three. I I, I, I put it back at number three. And that's my final good. answer. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's my final answer. It is number three. I'm sticking to it. I I, 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 I I started thinking of a couple of movies and I lost scout. I'm like, oh shit, I better move it down. Nope. It's three. Easy number three. I appreciate that. Do you? I do. Why is that? I don't know. Okay. Well, I appreciate that you appreciate I, that. I appreciate everybody's opinion. I appreciate that you appreciate that. To a point. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's number three for sure. Because it's just super fun, man. I can't. It's awesome. Oh. All right. So, um, the big one. The big one. The big, big, big one. Big one. True Lies. This is your. This is your favorite. Oh, this is my. This, oh, this, this is, is your me. favorite. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I like it. I like it a lot. You, you let me run during Total Recall. I did. Know? Okay, I did. You're right. Okay, I'm. I was just trying to be a good host. <sighs> True Lies is probably ooh, top five. It, easy top five best '90s movies. Wow. Also. My, my top five. And also number probably, I don't know. I, it's, I'll, I'll number it a little bit, maybe. Well, I'll, it's up there. I don't think I can. I, it's hard. It's hard. it's hard, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. I don't but, think I can number. But it is definitely I need one of the think. best action movies of that decade. A- action, every, it has action, everything. Comedy, action, drama, it, whatever. It, it has everything. It is True Lies is one of the just coolest and well done films, I believe, yeah. of the nineties, and one of my favorites, definitely, one of my favorites ever. <clears throat> yeah, like it's a running joke at my uh, at my store. Uh, when somebody walks in and says, "What's a good movie to watch?" That's my default answer. If you haven't seen, you've seen True Lies. What's that? Watch True Lies. That's my, and it became a running joke just because it was a silly default, but, yeah. but it is one of my, like, that is one of my go-to movies. If I feel, if I'm feeling action, I feel Arnold. And then if, you know, if I'm not feeling Last Action Hero or Terminator or something like that, I'm, it's True Lies. And that's, that's one of my favorite movies. And I, and it was for the longest time, just as a joke, I just, I would recommend that. And I still, and I get some hits on it, but a lot of people will just rent it. But yeah. <laughs> well, it's should. funny. They should rent it. It's everybody, awesome. everybody should see it. Yeah. Well, I think most people, uh, the people who don't usually have seen it, and like, eh, it's okay. I've already seen it. Um, we'll watch it again, asshole. <laughs> <clears throat> well, it's worth it. Well, it's got two very good, three very good elements that you like: Arnold, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, and Jim Cameron. Yeah. So, and Tia Carrera. That's four. Oh boy, <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we're not worthy. Yeah, we are not. Swing, swing, not worthy. Yeah. <laughs> Show wing. She will be mine. Oh yes. Oh yes. That for she, she will, will be, be mine. mine. Yeah. Yeah. Tia Carrera was, and, and I mean, that's like she's super hot in this movie. Yeah. And too bad she's a bad guy. Yeah. But still, doesn't matter. I don't know. I like super her bad. Hot. Jamie Lee Curtis was probably the hottest I've ever seen in this movie. <sighs> probably. It's hard to argue. Probably. I don't know. Probably. One of the hottest. Yeah. Wow. You know. Yeah. I usually. Other than this movie, I don't think of her as a sex symbol. Oh no, no, no! You I know? don't either. I she's, don't either. She's, she's not. She's, she's the, the. She's the vulnerability. Exactly. Of she's yeah. the vulnerable girl. Halloween. Girl. She's the the the. Uh, she's the goody two shoes. She's the she's the stern mom. She's yep. the you know she's something yep. like that. It's never been yeah always pretty good head on her. She, uh, the wildest I've ever seen her was was the fog. I think, but I haven't watched yeah. a lot of her movies. Yeah, you know what I mean? That so she was, was promiscuous. Little, she was kind of promiscuous in that, yeah. but that was kind of different. That was the opposite of her Laurie Strode character. I, I love the little subplot in this with her and Bill Paxton. I do too. <laughs> yeah. Bill Paxton had a great role yeah. as a slime ball used car salesman in this. And that, that, that fantasy of him backhanding his ass in the car was awesome. Cause like, it like basically killed him in the dream. Right. It's blood everywhere. Um, 
his his interaction, his stuff, with, which I'm not a big Tom Arnold fan, but Tom Arnold was really good in this movie. He can be really good. He can be really good, and he was really good in this movie, yeah. and I love all the interactions with him and, and Schwarzenegger in this movie. Yeah. Um, this was definitely his best role. Yeah. Yeah, and I love when when Arnold thought that his wife was cheating on him, too. He was really overly obsessed with finding out, right? Which, I mean, naturally. And that scene where he broke that car window was just hilarious. Just, yeah. Give me the goddamn page. And he just backhands the... He's like, All right. Um, but there's so many good scenes. The opening sequence was awesome. Um, He... Uh, I love the fucking scene where he walks out and he, he's leaving the party. He's like, what are you going to... He's like, well, how do you get out of there? He's like, I'm just going to walk right out the front door. He's like, that's ballsy. Stupid, but ballsy. <laughs> and he walks right out, and the guy in the guard, of course, sees him in his tug. He's like, excuse me, sir, can I see your invitation? He's like, yeah, here's my invitation. And he hits the button and blows the place up. That was awesome. Um, the ho- Okay, the horse the versus roof. mortal so- mo- motorcycle chase scene yeah. was phenomenal. Yeah. Like, that was phenomenal. Like, how, how, how can that not be some of the best TV you've ever seen? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. What about the scene with Jamie? Oh, the uh, dance scene? Yeah. I mean... Yeah, everybody knows. If you've seen True Lies, you know what, I'm, what I mean when aw- I say the, the scene. The most innocent, awkward, yeah, but extremely sexy scene that I've... You know, sexiest scene I've ever seen. One of, like... I don't, under, I don't know if I've ever seen a more awkward and sexy scene. You know, yeah. does that make sense? I don't know... Yeah, it was, and she did a really good job playing, especially when she, she like she, she did that stupid movement and fell, fell down, and he's like, uh, and he like started to help her, and he backed up, and then there was a scene where, uh, you know, she would messed that up, and she sat on the bed, and then, and then I don't know, it was just weird. Yeah, it was weird, awkward, but it was, but, but she played that part well. She was the boring square housewife that was awkward, that yep. wasn't like that, and then. Wanted to get a little freaky. Yeah, a little, little freaky. I on. think, you know, everybody, anytime you talk about True Lies, everybody talks about that scene. Oh, yeah. I don't think anybody gives any thought to uh, Arnold in that scene. Like, that would have been really freaking hard uh, for that character to sit there thinking that his wife thought that he was somebody else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's... Which, which I mean, he kind that's of... A power, that's a but, pretty I mean, powerful he, scene, he, even though it's kind of goofy. Well, he knew, he kind of knew from the beginning anyway, because he set that mission up with them, and yeah. and he was going to surprise her. And which was crazy, is she didn't even notice it was him. She'd already had, she had her eyes closed and already hit him over the head with the <laughs> telephone before, yeah. uh, you know, back when they were actual big telephones that you had to pick up, and they had lines to them to the wall, and it was weird, you know, you had a turn dial thing. What? Yeah, yeah, I don't remember those, do you? You were too young. I think. <laughs> right. Yeah, I never. Yeah, you're you're a little. Young. Hey, I don't know. What you're, I don't know. What you're yeah, you're a little too young. Um, she bashed that fucking would hurt. Oh yeah, yeah. bashed him over the head. Uh, that and that was uh, man. There, I don't. There was not really a dull moment in this movie to me. No, it was a longer movie. Yeah, but it was not. There's not a dull movie moment because you had you had your setup, and then you had the scene like you know you they they took care of the subplot with Jamie's character with his wife's character and then that all led up to that dance scene and then from there it just changed completely over yeah. to the terrorists and only the terrorists and the main just action yeah just action and that's what I loved and that actually uh, my favorite scene in the whole movie is him escaping from the dude who is going to interrogate him really yes because it's the funniest it's I, I quote it all the time because he explains to the man because he, he's all he's drugged and he's sitting there loopy, and he's got this truth serum in him. And then Jamie's like, how long have you been a spy? And he, she's, he's telling him all this stuff, and you know he's being honest with her. He's like, are we going to die? He's like, probably. Yep, <laughs> we're going to die. He's like, they're going to torture us to death, and then they're going to kill us. And then, and then he started telling her, she's like, shut up. And and uh, the guy comes over, and he's like, uh, He's like, any last, he's like, you got anything you want to say before we get started? He's like, yeah, I'm going to kill you pretty soon. <laughs> he's like, oh, really? That's interesting. How? And he's like, uh, he's like, first, I'm going to, uh, uh, first, I'm going to, t- uh, take you as a human shield. Then I'm going to take that pass and choke on the table and, 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 uh, kill that guard over there. And then I thought about breaking your neck. 
He's like, oh, really? And how do you suppose you're going to do that? He's like, you know my handcuffs? Uh-huh. I pick them. And he just grabs them. <laughs> That's one of my favorite. It's the funniest scenes ever. Yeah. Yeah. There's too many good scenes in this movie. I yeah. can talk about all that. Yeah, there are a lot of good Too many ones. good scenes. That's it's it's the best. It is if you want to go out of the typical Terminator answers, then this is this best movie. Yeah. This his this is his best overall movie. Yeah. It really is. This it, is this is Jim Cameron before he jumped the shark. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. This is them all at their best. Yeah. yeah. In my opinion. If you and this yeah. is something for everybody of every genre. This is, I think, True Lies is one of those movies that everybody's everybody can like, unless you're a complete asshole. There's no way you shouldn't like this movie. Yeah, that might be a strong opinion, but I don't care. It's fair. I mean, it yeah. is like there's literally yeah. there's literal. I don't. There's literally nothing wrong with this movie. No, I, I don't, don't. There's nothing you can say evidence wise to support. I mean, it's a, no. you can say it's opinion, whatever. There's nothing you can say. I, mean, I could see if someone said they don't like that type of movie. Sure, I could understand that. What do you like? But you don't I like mean, movies. I mean, there's there's a lot of. I mean, obviously nobody that's going to watch our show. No. But there's a lot of like women that watch Hallmark movies. I mean, all the I mean, time if you're if you're stuff. only into if you're only in, in you know Christian, what I mean? if you're only into Christian movies, if you're only into Hallmark movies, if you're only into horror movies or weird artsy movies, that's one thing. Yeah. But if you're into just any kind of random yeah. movie, a with comedy movie, action, yeah, a regular, regular yeah. movie. If you're just a regular fucking person, yeah, then you would like this movie. My right? wife's a hardcore uh, Hallmark channel viewer and she would like true lies I don't oh know yeah she's seen well so i'm saying like like those those that can watch and like kindergarten cop can also watch this and like true lies yeah that's this you know what i mean it's just, it's not the same movie but it's you know it's it's it, that's how much that this oh, i would recommend true lies before i recommend it well yeah, cop. I mean, it's a better movie yeah sure i mean other than jamie lee's ass cheeks i mean there's not anything in Really, no, she's got underwear. a little bit of language. There's she's not, got underwear on the whole time. Yeah, but, but but I mean, other than a little bit of language too, this really isn't bad. So, I don't know. It, uh, hands down, my favorite Arnold film, though, for real. Oh, and, I, I and I think, and it's it's really really close. Uh, it just depends. Like I, I almost don't want to um, rank Terminator Two ahead of it but at the same time i almost don't want to rank it ahead of terminator 2 because it's just really? so it's so neck and neck i don't know like i love terminator 2 so much and it holds up so well and i i, I don't know i i i think just because of this all-around film is so fun and i've watched it so many times which i've watched terminator 2 a lot i'm gonna give i'm gonna give the edge to true lies on this one and i think it's my favorite movie of his yeah i really do and then i would put terminator 2 then last action hero then terminator 1 and then Commando, that's and that's my Arnold list for for just essential in that order. Yeah. So. Fair enough. Yeah. What about you guys? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I can list them. I can go top five. It'd be it'd be T one Predator, Total Recall T two, and probably Conan the Barbarian. Really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. I don't know if I can or not. The Pete is on. I mean, mine it, it'll change on the way I feel for the day. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can, I can kind of understand that. I mean, it's it's hard to rank T two and it and True Lies together. It really is because it, I could be in a total Terminator mood and, yeah. and like, eh, no, this is better. This is better. Yeah. I just well, watched I, it. This is better. I flip flop on one and two on Do on T one and T two all the time. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Because I think I really do think that T one is a much better film than T two, but I also enjoy T two better most it's of the time. It's a heck of a ride. Yeah, mm-hmm. I do. Oh, that's what I'm but, saying. That, that's just how that's like, how you determine how what, do you determine what's a better film. You know that so that's well, going to be different for everybody, yeah. and that's going to differ from day to day, I guess. Because if yeah. you because for me, if you look at all the factors, I think there's more factors there for two. Whereas I get where you're coming from with one because of the because the 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 pacing's a little bit better. And it's a little faster moving. Yeah. So, but like, uh, but it's two different types of movies. We and, about. Andrew's uh, complaint against T two is really my only complaint against T two, and that is the middle section. It's what, just like in the desert and stuff. You mean? Yes. That whole from 
from the hospital until they go to um, what's his name's house. Enrique. Oh no! No uh, no Dyson. no! Dyson. Dyson. Oh, yeah. yeah, Dyson. From yeah. from from here until here, I could uh, go and make lunch. Yeah. Go to the bathroom, hang out. It's really not all you that know? bad. It's not that all it, that it's long. Not, it's not all that bad, but it's not good either. It's not near yeah, after like, you've seen the movie four or five times. Exactly, you know? exactly. You well, know, where, where T one, I can you know I watch it like once or twice a year, mm-hmm. and it grips me the whole way through. Yeah. No matter how many times I've seen it. Yeah. T two doesn't do that, but the parts that it does grip me. It grips me better. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's, See, it's it's super it's super weird. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. It's just it's just how you view yeah, it. Yeah, it's just a weird thing it's in just my a, head. Yeah, it's just a weird. Something. It's because me because me since the other parts are so strong or much stronger in my opinion. I I well, still have I think to, a I lot st- of that is just the way that it looks. Right. It looks much better. Well, it does look much better, but it, I, but it, it should. It was shot for a hundred million dollars. Well, yeah, it, well, it should. Yeah. yeah, you're right. It should. That's what I'm saying. I think it's. I think that those points are just are what edges it out every time even in even with the slow parts because there's yeah. because there's scenes in T1 that are just like eh, but that's the that's the uh time that's the lack of budget compared to 2 and yeah. um and like I said they're they are two different movies. Oh yeah, they you got are. You got a yeah. sci-fi horror and you got are. a sci and you got a sci-fi action. Yeah. And I would and I would designate T1 as horror. I yeah. would. Yeah. I really would. Yeah. It is action. It is action. But it's horror too, yeah. Because it uh, suspense, whatever. It's suspense. Uh, yeah, I'd say suspense. Cy- it's pretty c- cyberpunk Halloween. I yeah. tell you what, man. It's it is it is it is spooky. Like yeah. especially the first time when I watched it as a kid, yeah. it was spooky. Seeing how mean and bad that dude was coming after you can't kill him. Like that's pretty fucking intense. Yeah, it really is. So, but I don't know. It's it, it'd be it'd okay. Be, it'd so, be hard uh, for me. So, but would you put them above everything else? Mm, boy, I don't know. I love Predator. So you think Predator? I absolutely love Predator. I could watch Predator almost every day. I think. I think. <laughs> I, I really could. <laughs> really? I, I could. I, I, I love Predator. I think Predator for me. I think Predator is probably in the uh, in like the eight seven column yeah. or something like that. I don't know. I don't yeah. know if I could do that. Man, too I, often. Love I think Predator's great, but I just don't know if I can do that. I, it's definitely right after Command. It's definitely after Commando. Yeah, for sure. I lo- and I, that's another one I love. I, I could probably watch Kindergarten Commando. Cop and a couple others too. I don't know if I can. Total Recall is probably a little bit after that too. I don't know if I can watch that all the time. I don't know. Total Recall is, if <clears throat> not my number five, my number six. Yeah, and that's just because. And I hate to do that. I hate to put two Terminator movies in my top five. Well, how, yeah, but how can I, you I know, I know. That's like that's how can how can I not? I don't. Yeah, I don't know how you can you can't. That that's his. Now, I mean, real quick. Uh, I know we can get out of the nineties. He he kind of he kind of went down, and we've thought about doing like a worst of Arnold because there are some pretty bad ones that are mm-hmm. worth noting too that we can kind of poke fun at or try to find good in or whatever but but there are some good that he come out after the fact i mean after the he come back and did the last stand yeah which i loved, which i thought yeah. was absolutely solid yeah and that was a good action movie it yeah, was, i loved it i did too. absolutely love because it. i because like just like um any western movie or just yep. like any uh, like copland yep. where you've got small time good cops versus a big corrupt system or be, or something like in this one, it's just like something big bad guy. It's a big bad guy yeah. in a small area and they're not yeah. equipped, but you know, like cop land, it's a little bit different than that kind of the same, but, but it is, but it kind of reminds me that it was a super awesome movie, just a fun, good action movie. Yep. It is the definition of return to form. It is. Oh, it yeah. really is. It, it was yeah. a good comeback. Call it's a, him. is it'd be a good Western yeah, maybe kind of. Yeah, it would be a good western. I mean, really. Yeah, and then you've got you know you got the Expendables western and stuff cars. that he was in, which I thought he had great great roles in the Expendables, I even though so I wouldn't call them Arnold movies. You know what I mean? They're more sly movies than anything. Or I mean, they're ensemble movies. But, yeah. But I mean, there, he hasn't made a lot of great movies. Killing Gunther. Killing, Killing Gunther was great. Yeah. It's a weird. It's a weird sense of humor. And I can understand why people wouldn't yeah, like it, it's, but it's I a, it's but shot I shot through a I camera really too, like, like a film crew. And, yeah, but at, but as soon as Arnold shows up, it's gold. Oh all yeah, the way he's to, all the way. All, yeah, he is he's, absolutely. Hilarious. I hope they do more. I do too. I really do. I do too. You watch that yet? No, not yet. Yeah, you need to watch that. Oh, he's hilarious. 
yeah, you need to watch that. Um, any uh, closing thoughts, final statements? Rigmarole. Oh boy, you need a rigmarole. I don't know. You can you can say what you want about his ability or whatever, but he's one of the most charismatic guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, seen in a movie. Yeah. He's so, really really hard not to like. Yeah. He's hard not to to fall in love with, in my opinion. You know, I hate I hate to not talk strictly just about him, but I hear the same shit for him and for Stallone all the time. Oh, they can't act. They can't act. Right. Well, that's bullshit. That's total bullshit, and everybody knows it. Yeah, you can look at Arnold's uh, they, this career. Because... You can look at his career. You can look at Sly's career too. Mm-hmm. And and it's there's not there. You're you're going to be hard pressed to find a more defined, uh, mm. accomplished careers than those two men yeah, right there. Right. Well, I mean, I could make a case here. Um, you know, you, you can look at actors like real actors, like, um, like a Daniel Day Lewis or like, um, like a Meryl Streep or yeah. I don't know, so, you know what I mean? Like, like the ones that we, that people out there feel, feel like see, I don't know, like call good, whatever. Yeah. Um, horseshit. But anyway, you, you could look at those and then you can look at people like Sly, people like Keanu, people like, Arnold, um, you know, yeah, and most of these are action stars or whatever, but these guys are, I mean, I'll give them some credit. They are genuinely talented people. Mm-hmm. They are good actors. They've got good range for the most part, especially Arnold and, and Sly. They do have good range. Arnold's got very good range. He yep. does have, he is, he can do a lot of shit, Yep. but the difference between them, whether they're the best actors in the world or not is irrelevant. The difference between them and these others is is that they're actually putting out content that I fucking want to see. Yeah. I don't go to the... Mo- like, artsy's fine if you're into that sort of thing. I don't go to the fucking movies. I don't rent movies. I don't buy movies. I don't have a store from, full of movies to watch a bunch of dramas all the time. No. I don't watch for acting because I am a film buff, but it's because I enjoy films that, you know, that, that are entertaining, that get me out of my world. Yep. That's the point. These over the top action movies are my cup of tea because they are just that. They get me out of the real world. And that's what they produce. And to me, that's what makes Arnold one of the best of yeah. all time. Now you can disagree all you want, whoever is out there listening, but they he's somebody he's somebody that everybody would want to be. Yeah, exactly. He is an he is an over the top character. Yep. He is a larger than life dude. He's a nice dude. I don't give a fuck what he's done in his personal life or how he did politics wise. He only did one bad thing. Yeah, maybe. I don't give a shit though. I don't care if he's done bad things or not. He's You're a, talking about Junior, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's a likable dedicated dude with that sets goals and, and has accomplished everything he needs to accomplish in life. Yep. Like you can't say, I can't say one bad thing about the dude because and I, and everything else. I don't give a shit. He, he is producing stuff that I want to see and he, and he should be noted as one of the greatest, no yep. matter what, because I mean, cause he, he deserves, because he is, he is. And he deserves way more credit than that. Yep. He does. He does. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, there's. If uh, if there was no Arnold, then there would be no Macho Movie Madness. Exactly, exactly. I wouldn't even be born. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm saying here? Yeah, Arnold is my father. Yeah, Arnold is my dad. My my mom was a uh, conceived conceived during a drive-in show. She was. Predator. She was. <laughs> let's just say she was more promiscuous than than Jamie Lee Curtis in, yeah. in the Fog. Yeah, my it's picking up. My mom was by a maid. Random, my mom was a maid at the governor's mansion by yeah. a random forty-year-old man. <laughs> yeah, California. yeah, yeah. Would you like some water for your ficus tree, Mr. Preston? <laughs> <laughs> you can call me Blake. Anyway, Blake. <laughs> uh, anybody got any closing statements? Did I already asked that. Yeah, about ten yeah, minutes think, ago. Yeah, I think that was. You know what? Closing. This is my podcast, Andrew. <laughs> talk back to me. Yeah, you can talk back to me if you want to. You better, my, you better my, put your inside you voice my on. Friend. Yeah, yeah. You better, keep you your, yeah, you better keep your inside voice, but put your ass outside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess that'll that'll do it for the Arnold. Uh, if you don't like Arnold, fuck you. Um, 
Pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, if you would love to uh, support us on Patreon, we got a Patreon now. Yeah. If you then like, you can hate him if you want. If you like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you can do whatever you want. No, uh, no. If you do, got if you guys do like what you uh, what you hear, then you know we we definitely. <laughs> We definitely would like you to consider that. If not, you know, at least go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want to do. Tell us we're wrong, and I'll be yeah, on there to call, argue. Call me a jerk off. I'll straight up argue with I you. I love it. I, I will. I'll argue with you for free, because I love <laughs> it, because I love to. Um, and I guess uh, we'll be back uh, soon. We got the Hat of Doom coming. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, we got Hat of Doom number three coming. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna add some new uh, new movies into that, and then we'll go from there. I don't know what else we got. We got a lot of shit on on uh, on the bench. Yep. So uh, we will see you all next week. Peace. See you.